Welcome to part three of our X-Wing on TTS series. Today I'm going to show you how to set up multiplayer matches and where to find players to actually play with. Before we go too far, if you haven't installed or know the base functions of how to use TTS on X-Wing, I suggest going back to part one. And in part two of our series, we actually talked about how to improve your experience as well as how to do some of the less common mechanics depending on what type of list you want to play in Tabletop Simulator. Let's go ahead and get started here. To create a multiplayer match where somebody is going to be joining you to play, click Create click multiplayer and here you can go ahead and set up your server name some people refer to this as your table name and then you set up a password we highly suggest you set up a password make it simple something that someone can remember and click create survey you'll have your option to go ahead and open up the x-wing unified mod load it up and you get to play as normally you choose your color and you're ready to go. One note though, when someone else does join your table, you will need to promote them in order for them to be able to delete things off the table such as unneeded or already used tokens. Let me show you that right now. Now that our second player has actually joined the game, we can select their name and click promote. What this does, this allows them to do two things. They can now delete items off the table that you might not need in your game such as an unused token but it also allows them to place objects on their table from their saved objects this could be custom cars custom painted ships or maybe a list that they have saved in their saved objects but that basically gives them full control of the game as well just make sure that you know the screen name of the person who's jumping in so that you're not accidentally promoting someone random if you do need to demote somebody you can click their name and click demote and select yes one other thing i do highly suggest when you are setting up multiplayer games is going into options hitting permissions and making sure at the very least the table flip option is turned on off. This is so that people who are joining the table cannot just come in randomly and click our flip table button, which does destroy the game, obviously. What about control Z? Can you undo what just happened? Yes, I could click control Z, but what happens according to the developers is that you will see the table return once I click control Z, you'll see it starting to reform itself. But what happens is, especially once you're in a game, it breaks some of the scripting and the code that is running in the background when you press control Z. So it is highly suggested not to press Control Z on your keyboard. Now let's go ahead and join a game that someone else set up. Click, instead of create, we're going to click join. Now right here at the top, you will see that the table that I've set up is already pulled up because I have my second account listed as my friend on Steam. This is one way to find some players quickly. If, uh, if you are, are in a tight knit group who likes to play a lot, um, having Steam friendships already set up will pull these tables immediately when you have this friends only box clicked. But normally it'll just look like a long list you might need to search for the table name, especially if you're playing in a large event like we do here at Gold Squadron. Uh, a lot of the tables will be formatted this way as a number. So GSP2, oops, I put three. <laughs> GSP2, you click on the server, you can double click or click connect here, and now it will prompt you for the password. The passwords are case sensitive. So the password for today is Delta. We're gonna click okay. It's gonna connect. And basically, it's going to look like what it always looks like, except we no longer have the crown. We're currently on the Gold Squadron podcast um, account right now. We saw that blue was open instead of red, and now we can play. We can still spawn a list from the spawner over here we can actually even pull out tokens and things that we need but like we said earlier without being promoted you won't be able to actually delete items that you no longer need and you also have those permissions turned off you won't be able to bring in other objects or start other games unless you're promoted if i go over here and get our current account promoted you will see that those permissions did show back up and uh, you can now delete items off the table 
And once you're promoted, you are 100% ready to go, and it's time to play X-Wing. So one of the most obvious ways you could find a game is, of course, asking a friend to play. But if you want the opportunity to play somebody random, you can go and join a Discord server. The three Discord servers we're going to be talking about today is the official Tabletop Simulator X-Wing Mod Discord server, the Gold Squadron Podcast server, and the Hexiled Gaming server. These, to me, have been the most active servers when people are looking for games. Let's go ahead and head over to my Discord. You'll see the three channels are right here, TTS X-Wing, Gold Squadron Podcast, and Hexiled Gaming. But you can see right here, looking for game, and people are simply looking for games. What happens a lot of time is people will just private message them. They'll go ahead, click the name, and just send them a private message saying, hey, I'm, I'm ready to play, and then you guys can share the server information. Sometimes people even do what this player did, uh, did right here. They have a game up and running, and they will just leave it open with no password. Again, make sure you have those permissions set up so you don't have any uh, anybody coming in and just flipping your table. On the Gold Squadron podcast server, you will find it under the community tab. We have a looking for game for Vassal and TTS. So right here, you see people looking for games. And on Hexiled Gaming, same thing. X-Wing looking for game. And there are people looking for games. Now, one thing I do want to point out is the best thing about doing it via Discord is that it does set up a opportunity for you to speak with your opponent. I will tell you, I don't play games with people online if I can't talk to them because it allows us to keep the flow and it's a much more natural experience. But of course, you could also type in the chat that is in Tabletop Simulator, but I recommend speaking. And once you and your opponent have a room set up, you can go ahead and say, hey, do you want to just play on GSP table number five? And like, yeah. You go ahead, click on the table, and you speak to each other. And it's really that easy. And lastly, if you're looking for more competitively driven play, you can join some type of event. A lot of groups host weekly leagues. Our good friends at Hexiled Gaming are currently running their Kyber Cup Championship, which is a league-style one-game-a-week event series. We here at Gold Squadron run premier events that mirror in-person play where it goes over a weekend. You got six rounds of Swiss and then a day to cut. Right now, we're actually taking signups for our Gold Squadron Flight Club Championships. We got four qualifiers, and depending on how you do in those qualifiers, you place in a specific championship level event. We'll basically have three different champions, which is going to be super fun. You can check it out, goldsquadronpodcast.com. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. We have more tabletop simulator content on how to, and if you have any questions, we'll maybe be able to address them in a future video. Thanks for watching. Gold Squadron out.